Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. What a day stage 20 was in, in the Volta. Oh my god. <laughs> I tell you what, it was a real challenge uh, during the TV broadcast to keep track of who was where, who had attacked, what group was how far ahead of which chasing group. Um, a incredible stage. An absolute bedlam at the beginning. Riders attacking for a variety of reasons. Um, King of the Mountain, that was a huge battle on the first climb between Kenny Elizonde and Omar Freyla. Freyla got the points. Elizonde um, caught out because of a long descent <laughs> in the middle of the climb. And uh, Omar Freyla's group caught Kenny Elizonde at about the only moment they could have to give um, Omar Freyla a chance to win the points. Uh, Kenny Elizonde recuperated, got himself back in the front group where Omar Freyla got dropped, uh, barely hung on to the peloton for all. That blew to smithereens uh, throughout the day's stage. But then Kenny Elizonde, so blown from uh, the early effort, he got no more points at the end of the day and Omar Freyla uh, will uh, be a, the likely, barring catastrophe, winner of the King of the Mountain competition. Um, further up the road, <laughs> Rudy Molar and uh, of the Kofidi squad, who by the way is going to race for FDJ for the next two years, a real talent from French, in French cycling, and Luis Leon Sanchez of Astana up the road. Luis Leon Sanchez going for the stage win with everything he was worth got caught in the finale of the other riders in the breakaway. Uh, more prudent to wait to the last climb perhaps, and Luis Leon Sanchez must have been the strongest guy. I mean, he absolutely killed himself uh, in front of the breakaway group that was being chased by the peloton. The peloton finally sat up after a flurry of attacks from many of the GC contenders, including Chris Froome. And uh, uh, Movistar finally got a handle on things, um, so the breakaway got a big advantage halfway through the stage over 10 minutes, which they would hold a small portion of that all the way to the finish line. And then Darwin Adapuma, an incredible battle with Pierre Roger Latour from the breakaway, blew Louis Land Sanchez to smithereens in the last few kilometers, and Pierre Roger Latour, a great stage win. Um, Darwin Adapuma seemed to be the best climber, tactically, rode perfect. But Pierre Roger Latour had the desire and the power and went through pure agony to win that stage. Well deserved. Further down in the field, Esteban Chavez and the Orica team orchestrating an incredible breakaway miles from the finish on the penultimate climb. Uh, Chavez goes away and holds off Alberto Contador and has enough time to move back into a podium position that he lost to Contador in the final time trial yesterday. But Chris Froome and Nairo Quintana, probably the battle of the day uh, for supremacy in this year's Vuelta, and Nairo Quintana up to the challenge, matched Chris Froome's attacks and accelerations every step of today's stage, and even beat him in the sprint to the line for a slight advantage. It's been an incredible Vuelta. One more day to go. It's more of a processional uh, epilogue to the proceedings. Should be a sprint stage. Uh, it's not quite as leisurely as the last day of the Tour de France, um, but generally none of the classifications change hands on the last day. Sprint to the line. One last chance of glory uh, for the uh, sprinters. <laughs> Uh, so that'll be a good contest for the stage win tomorrow, but Nairo Quintana, congratulations, and uh, it was a very hard-fought victory in a Grand Tour against a very powerful rival in Chris Froome. Nairo Quintana, if he can race like this in next summer's Tour de France, and let's hope he can, Chris Froome is going to have his hands full. If Chris Froome wants to win four Tours de France, it's going to be tough against Nairo Quintana, and Movistar was spectacular and they will go out the winners of this year's Vuelta a España. I hope everybody's enjoyed the last three weeks, 
And uh, uh, thanks so much for the comments and uh, the subscriptions have piled up during the last three weeks. So I appreciate all the subscribers. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and I can apprise you to when the next Bob Key TV videos are going to be upcoming. I'm going to try to stick to these uh, throughout the fall and winter. Um, long hiatus in the summer because it is so very tough to uh, <laughs> to work all day and then do a little bit of a, an extra one. But I appreciate everybody watching that. And uh, on behalf of the sport of cycling, tip of the hat to all the riders in the Vuelta. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, I'll do one tomorrow, just a little summation of the stage, and then get back to wine of the week, hopefully, and the broom wagon. I'm gonna start doing the broom wagons again. Sum up all the week's news, races, and um, scintillating cycling events. All right, everybody, thanks a lot.